back of the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Let's talk about associated um, antibiotic associated diarrhea, which is very common. I see so many people over the years who've taken antibiotics who've got gut issues as a result of the antibiotics. Clostridium difficile or C. diff is the most common bacteria associated with uh, diarrhea or you know very loose bowel motions associated with antibiotic usage. So and last year a study was published I think in September a lady called Dr. Lisa Dawson uh, published this, this study was published it was very interesting Clostridium difficile produces an interesting chemical called P. cresol apparently P. cresol and what this chemical does is it actually inhibits a wide range of microorganisms around it. So it's almost like a kind of tear gas or something that it releases just to disperse stuff around it to give it more room. So there aren't many bacteria in the gut that produce uh, P. cresol. Apparently there's only about, I think, 10 or 12 of them at the most out of like the thousands of you know, potentially species we've got there. But C. diff likes to come up in many people with antibiotics and it creates the, the diarrhea. So there you have it. You know, bacteria can produce things to make them, you know, last longer, live longer, and have a more competitive edge in the gut. Candida can do a very similar thing, you know. It creates various toxins, like gliotoxin, uh, around it. And the gliotoxin is quite nasty stuff. It's almost like shards of glass. You know, if you break a champagne flute, and you've got all these millions of little pieces of glass everywhere, and you find them, you know, eventually. And even though you vacuum and sweep, there's still a little bit of glass. Well, gliotoxins like that too. It's really nasty stuff, and it can go travel throughout the bloodstream, and and it can create lots of problems for people. So you know, this is how often these yeasts or bacteria survive for thousands, if not millions, of years, is to create their own defense mechanisms and systems. So how do you stop this? Well, don't take antibiotics in the first place. You don't usually need an antibiotic. In most cases, you don't need an antibiotic. Okay. In time, well in the future, these drugs won't be used anymore because they'll be seen as far too destructive. They'll be seen like the atom bomb of the gut one day, you'll see. Anyway, that's enough for me raving on. Thanks for watching the video. If you want my free Candida report, just click on the link in the description box. Thanks for tuning in.